Welcome back guys um, This is going to be part 2 of our um, hair tutorial I'm going to the same But you can see right here I am originally created um, a single mesh Man, it looks messed up as the character's hair it doesn't look this bad in uh, UDK it actually looks better Maya renders um, for some reason Maya renders um, normal maps horribly but um, let's go back to the default and um, let me see the way I kind of compensated for the lack of the way the hair is you can see it doesn't come down to the all the way down to the um, sideburns or whatever just covers the top of her head to the side of her head um, I went ahead and I made sure the um, normal map when I was texturing the head let me hide this I got it in a new layer the normal map came all the way down here and so when you render this out in UDK it kind of looks like um, the hair continues down to the side of the, the um, side of the face or the side of the head doesn't make any sense so um, I'm gonna hide this out and you can see our character is just bold I just wanna say if you're doing the um, creating the character hair this way creating actual um, planes you might not need to actually I'll shut up about that um, let's just go ahead and get this done uh, first thing you wanna do we already have our textures if you remember the diffuse texture and the alpha texture um, we're only going to be using the diffuse texture for Maya because Maya can um, render out the hair strands themselves um, as long as you created an alpha channel based on your diffuse um, texture it renders just the hair channel okay so we're going to go ahead and open our hyper shade and I'll create a new blend and this is what see yeah we'll go create a new blend and um, I renamed mine hair of course go to um, double click on it to open the attribute editor where it says color there should be an uh, a checker box right here like this one but I already have it saved. Like I said, I already did this. Um, did this. Um, did it before, so I'm not gonna go through it again. You click on the checker box. Um, another box will open up. Click. click on it and hit um, open or oh, hit yeah hit open and your diffuse file should apply to the material after that you want to go ahead and um, create a plane I already have my planes right here you can see them um, because I um, made an alpha channel bare diffuse these planes are all showing my diffuse texture and nothing else it's not showing the background at all and where there's supposed to be a space in the hair like um that wasn't taken care of with my outline if you remember the yellow outline it's just gonna show the background which wouldn't look that messy so let me show how I did this you create a new um, polygon go to create polygon primitives plane where is our plane it's all the way down here open your channel box 
click on your channel box and um, go down to where it's right here on your inputs make sure it's one by one the UD subdivisions and the D B D UB divisions and the BD divisions one by one so you have that let me apply Lambert to this for some reason I mistakenly apply the picture to my Lambert one when I created this character so everything is on it's with that picture okay so we have our plane let's bring it up I'll put it right here for now and I'll go to window edit next thing you want to do you grab your you go back to your hyper shade if you see I left it um, open click on make sure you have your plane selected right click on your hair material and assign material to selection and you can see right on your plane that you can see the picture that we saved out without the background which is how we want it seeing as it's a plane is already the UV is already laid out perfectly but you don't want it to look like this you want to make sure that uh, this box represents one strand of um, not one strand sorry one um, of these textures so you right click you, you go into your um, UV texture editor you can say I have it open here right click on it go to UVs select the entire box and just um, scale it down scale down the UVs and what you tr what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make sure that the UV texture I mean sorry the UVs of the hair is centered around each um, piece of hair so we're just gonna select these two UVs move it in uh, we're gonna select this part move it up I'm gonna select the two two UVs okay this is fine now um, the long, um, long hair texture I'm gonna make make another um, plane so um, how that was what I'm looking for duplicate the first one now you have the second one and um, you want to move it to the side a little bit obviously and now it's going to have the same texture because it's a copy of the first one same UV space but this time just click on it hit UV sorry right click in the UV texture editor for while you have the second one selected the second plane selected select as soon as the short hair you want to um, resize your plane we're done with the UV texture editor for now um, if you look at these two I did right here the ones I'm going to be using you can see I added two more lines just to make it follow the shape of um, the UVs I mean sorry the hair patches I'll call them patches from now you don't have to do that but I did it just to make it easier to lay the hair on the head and so I could tell um, the planes apart uh -oh. okay but I'm just gonna leave this like this for now and I'll close the UV texture editor so we have both strands uh, what do we do next I'm gonna delete this too I'm, I was just showing you how I got these two guys up here they're what I'm gonna be using We're going to start making copies of these guys and placing them on the head to make them just to follow your the pattern of hair so you take this guy you duplicate him get your move tool move him into position 
and just place it on the hair like that now this is going to be pretty much time consuming because each plane represents uh, just a little bit of uh, strands of hair I'm going to reduce this to make it look very more realistic reduce the size place it up there and that's just going to be the first strand for hair um, this part of her hair of your character's hair obviously you need to rotate this down and just place it on top of the hair like that make sure it's um, inside the head so I went ahead and did this for the entire head you know I placed different planes click on that make a copy of that at times you might not need to go back up there you might just want to duplicate this and move it around just place it on the hair it looks just like um, in this case I had a reference I was lucky so I just made sure it followed the reference uh, for the hair in the back I actually added some more lines to my um, plane and kind of manipulated the shape um, vertex wise to fit on the back and the side of the head I also made use of the small one if you remember the sh texture for like the sideburns and this is what I got from doing all of that as you can see it didn't come out looking that great because of the texture itself for the most part but she doesn't look that bad and this is Maya so it's still looks a little bit um, like the planes as opposed to actual strands of hair so you just go ahead and drop each strand on her head or on his head whatever you're creating and after that you when you're satisfied with what you have now these are individual planes you can see I have them um, when I click on it they all light up that's because I combine them you s you um, when you're ready to do that you might want to hide your main mesh and the eyes and everything click on the hair go to mesh oh sorry click select on the hair all of the hair um, select all of the hair strands go to mesh and combine and that way all of the hair all of the planes are seen as one mesh and that should make it easier for exporting I already had the character exported to UDK or rigged sorry when I did this um, this is just a copy of my rigged um, mesh had them all selected and the next thing you want to do is um, we're gonna go ahead and um, export it to UDK now um, like I repeated all I did to um, create the hair I already have my had my character rigged up, rigged up I just made a copy exported the head out to a new file and um, we're gonna click on the new our hair go to file export selection and we're gonna export the hair just save the file and remember where you saved it let me see how far I've gone on this alright so next thing we're going to be doing we're going to be exporting this out to um, UDK and um, I hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial sorry for the way I sound again I'll see you in the next video peace